Hi everyone, let's install some control horns now. And the weapons of choice are 30 minute epoxy. And I have a coloring paste here, white coloring paste that I'd like to use, show you that later. And then a sharp knife, some files, scissors. Okay, here we have the elevator and uh, this is the top side this is the bottom side and since we have the servos on the left side this is the side where we have to find the hole for the control horn here i will not use a soldering iron to open up uh, the foil but a knife because i want to cut a bit of a larger hole around uh, the slot that can be seen here quite nicely when you look at it Okay, it's open, and this way the epoxy can make a good bond here with the wood and form a good support that way. It also says it in the manual, there are two different horns, and the one with the two holes in the bottom is for the rudder, and with one hole there, that's for the elevator. Here's a question for you guys. How do you mix epoxy? Um, I mean, what do you use? I have bought a bunch of these uh, cups. Uh, this is the technique that I've developed. And what I do is I just Whoa. cut them apart. And that way I have a little tray that holds the epoxy quite nicely. But there might be other methods. So please tell me what is your preferred method? So what I like to do now is I like to mask the hole around uh, the epoxy area where the epoxy will go. I think it's worthwhile doing this. Okay, let's test fit it, and it fits perfectly. Uh, I've actually sanded this bit already down there at the end. You should, you should do that. And now I'm actually going to mask a line across the control horn as well. I just think it makes for a very clean and neat glue spot. Sometimes you find little treasures in your workshop, and from an old project I actually found yellow coloring paste for epoxy. And that's what I'm going to use on this control horn. Maybe I should be using exacting scales, but I find if you make equally large spots, that works as well. You can treat the coloring paste like additional resin. So just add the hardener to the amount that you put that paste in. Now look at that epoxy resin. I don't know about you guys, but I just really love it. So here's the hole, and now we can add the glue or the epoxy resin to it. Be sure to work it in deep into the hole. Um, I'm not sure how much of a hole there is, so I just fill it up. It pays to work very thoroughly here, and don't save on epoxy. Just imagine the brutal forces of that 60 thrust engine that this little control horn will be exposed to when you do those power 3D figures. Now let's add the control horn and make sure that it is exactly at a 90 degrees angle. Here I'm pushing the epoxy up. Since I've masked the horn, I can now work easily. Um, and it's going to run down again, so I'm pushing it up quite a bit and then let it sit. I have let it settle for a couple of minutes and then while the epoxy is still not cured, take the masking tape off. See, just like so, at an angle away from the elevator and the horn. Now isn't that the most beautiful glue spot that you've ever seen? Very neat. The hole for the rudder control horn was a bit hard to find because there is yellow, white and black heat shrink on top of each other. So I cut it out a little larger, but that won't matter because now I'm going to use black coloring. I don't have black coloring paste, but I'm just going to use, I think this is car paint. It is on epoxy basis, so it shouldn't be a problem. It will be a little thinner, so that the glue might be tr a little more transparent. But with black paint, that shouldn't be a problem. By the way, my family loves sushi, and they order it all the time. And we always use our own chopsticks, and so I keep these uh, 
for mixing my glue. Again, I'm using quite a bit of epoxy. I want to completely fill up that hole. I don't know how deep it is actually. So until nothing goes in anymore and then add the control horn, then fill out the hole and work it up all the way to the control horn again to make a great and strong glue bond. Again, when you're done shaping the glue spot, take off the masking tape after you have let it sit for a while. You'll see the finished product in the next episode. And here's a little surprise. In the next episode, Clara will join us and help us a little bit. Clara normally is very professional in front of the camera. Here she helps us a little bit with filming. We have a little dialogue and do something together that I'm sure she's completely interested in. So check us out again and uh, maybe subscribe uh, so you get the episodes in English as they come. Bye.